Welcome to Pat Stats. Today is the second of six uniform reviews on the Pat Stats channel that we'll be um, posting throughout the off season. Um, if you didn't see the last video, it was the AL East uniform review. I recommend you watch that one before this one because the same rules apply. I mentioned some stuff about double headers and like the rates of which they, which teams wear uniforms. So if you haven't watched that one, watch that one before this one. But anyway, so today we're doing the AL Central. We're moving the divisions. And before we get into it, um, it's a small milestone, but the Patch Stats channel has reached 1,000 views. Um, obviously, I mean, it's not huge. I mean, it's not gonna, like, I'm not going crazy over it, but it's a nice number, nice round number that we got to. And, um, the channel started going public in July. So, I mean, what is that? Four or five months by now? So, I mean, we're getting there. I want to try to get to 2,000 by the end of the year. So that's what we're trying to do. So now let's get into the uniform review. So you can see here, that is the White Sox uniform lineup. They have, they have pinstripes. A road gray, and they have the black alternates. Um, one at one's one at home with pinstripes pants, obviously, and one's one on the road. And then they have that Sunday throwback uniform, um, which I actually thought is actually kind of interesting since Tony La Russa is their manager right now, and he used to be the White Sox manager, and he wore that uniform. So <laughs> they might end up wearing that uniform more. We'll see. But anyway, um, all I'll talk about is the rate at which they wear the alternate uniforms their home black uniform. They only wore five games this year, and that would have been a 13-game pace in a normal season, which would have been a 215% decrease from 2019. They wore that a bunch in 2019. They wore the pinstripes more this year. I don't know if that was because of a small sample size or if they actually tried to wear their standard pinstripes more, but they wore their pinstripes more and black less. On the road, kind of the same story, a little less drastic. They wore their black road jersey, for 11 games this year for a 29 game pace, which would have been a 53% decrease from 2019. So not as big as the home difference, but still a difference. Um, overall, just wearing the black uniform at home or on the road is 16 games for a 43 game pace, which is a 58% decrease from 2019. And in the postseason, they were on the road at Oakland Coliseum. They lost the, th the best of three series in the decisive third game, and they wore their gray uniform, the road gray, all three games. Moving on to the Cleveland Indians, they have um, a primary home and road uniform, and then two alternates. The red is worn at home, and the navy blue is worn on the road. Um, they did make one change on opening day, and opening day only, they wore their road navy blue uniform at home with the home cap, with the red bill. Um, I'm not exactly sure why they did this, but um, they never did it again. So for their home red, they wear this uniform a lot. 22 times um, in the 2020 season, which would have been a 59 game pace, which would have been a 23% increase from 2019. Their Royal Navy, they also wear a lot. 21 games this year, which would have been a 56 game pace a 16% increase from 2019. So they wear their um, alternates, um, more than they do their primary uniforms, both at home and on the road, which is interesting. In the playoffs, when the Indians got swept by the Yankees, um, they wore their red, at, um, their home reds, both games, for two games. And then you have the Tigers, who they don't have any alternate uniforms, so there's nothing really to talk about here. They wear their white at home and their gray on the road. Not much, does, not much is um, gonna be said there. Then you have the Royals. We have five, technically five uniform combinations, but they have a pretty firm schedule. They have their home whites, which they wore, which they wear on home night games. Their road gray, which they wear on road night games. They have this alternate um, uniform. It's kind of hard to see in this picture, but it is trimmed in gold. That is worn on home Fridays. This uh, baby blue uniform down there is worn on home Sundays, and the uh, royal blue uniform is worn on the road only in day games. Um, they, they stuck true to that schedule for the entire 2020 season. There was one um, exception, though. Their last weekend of the year, as they did in 2019, they switched it. They wore their powder blue uniform on the Saturday night game and their white the Sunday day game, 
which is the opposite of what they usually do. I don't know why they do that. And then the last and final team, the Minnesota Twins, who have six uniform combinations. Bunch of alternate uniforms. You have the home white, the road gray. You have a home navy blue alternate. And you see bottom right, there's a road navy blue alternate. You have a or navy blue alternate. And there's a baby blue alternate and a red alternate. <laughs> so it's a lot of alternates for the twins. Let's start with the home red uniform, which they wore nine times in 2020 for a 24 game pace, which would have been a 12 uh, 12 slash 13 percent decrease from 2019. They wear their red um, uniform every Friday at home, and then also on some random days, but it's guaranteed to be every Friday. So moving on, you have the home navy blue, which they wore four times for a 10 game pace, and this was a 69% decrease from 2019. And there is an explanation for this. It's because they got a new uniform this year, the powder blue, which they did wear a lot. So that's probably why they wore their home navy less. 12 times this year, um, for, and they wore that on Wednesdays and Sundays, plus some other random days. So you see, they, the Twins do have a schedule. Reds on Fridays, Baby Blue on Wednesday, Sunday. And then they also can wear those uniforms some other times. And then the final uh, uniform, you have the Road Navy Blue. Um, they wore 14 times for a 37-game pace, a 16% decrease from 2019. So they wore their gray um, a little bit more than they did their Navy Blue. And then in the postseason, they got swept by the Astros at home. They wore their white uniform once and their navy blue uniform the next day. So that is it for Pat Stats today. Um, again, if you have any comments regarding this video, put it in the comments section down below. And if you have any comments regarding the YouTube channel, Pat Stats, put it in the discussion section of the Pat Stats YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.